Farm Explorers, Brandon Bannon. He's born a third back stick then. We got little Nanook here. He's getting much bigger though. We've got a really cool spot for you guys today. This place is absolutely gorgeous. It's been abandoned for about a year now, I think I've heard, but there's a bunch of stuff left behind. The architecture and the way it's built is amazing. I'm not sure how long it's how long ago it was built. If I find out, I'll put that in the in the title, in the description. But you guys are gonna love this house, so we're already in here. Let's get exploring. So we're gonna start here. That I think is your front door. It's a beautiful staircase. So I've got a feeling I'll show you. Old school chandelier. Stuff going on on the ceiling. Beautiful fireplace. Floral wallpaper matches the, the curtains. Nice corner unit built. Again, Christmas lights hanging down. Seems to be Christmas time at a lot of abandoned houses. A beautiful chandelier. But yeah, I'm thinking this is the front door. We've got this beautiful, there we go, this beautiful staircase. The battery for my light died, so I had to switch it around. Look how low the ceiling gets. If I don't duck, my head touches. Beautiful. You can tell this, this house definitely has some age to it. That's for sure. The old wood, the old designs. Now we'll come through here. Right here is the staircase where I did the, the intro. Here we got an office, a little squirt gun, tiny, tiny squirt gun, but a bottle of water, they're all, they got their ammo. Okay, I reloaded, I wonder why the lights are left on though, it's never good when people do that. Notice the texture in the walls. little ledge. There's the nook. Notice like these lines are on an angle. These lines go straight. If it was painted nicer and was done with a little bit more love, I guess we could say, then it would be a lot nicer. But look at that. Even the ceiling's got designs and patterns. Now, there's not anything left in the cupboards or closets, I'm pretty sure. So we will take a peek just at what is around. Cool old lock. You don't see that anymore. There's something on the other side. Oh. I guess if you move it enough, it rings that bell. one of the best condition ones I've seen. Hey big guy. Check this little hallway before we go. And it's raining. It's raining good outside. Interesting features. All right, so there's two entrances to the to the basement, unless there's two separate basements. But there's another one just down here. Let's 
So still got to finish the front or the main floor. This house seems quite big. This is a beautiful little walk-in area. Hanging the coats. Not just that side. Look at this one. That's amazing. Even for your shoes. It's like a lot of people lived here. A lot of people are maybe possibly used as... Um, what's it called? Possibly used as apartments, maybe. This is the front stairs again. Ah, doorknob. This house is amazing. And the door with the cross of glass. There's upstairs. So we went that way already. Nice little pantry to go with the kitchen. Here we go, check this out. Zoom up here. The nook dropped his ball. Oh, that's a bad throw. The grand table. Look at the legs on it. Those would weigh a fair bit. Set up nicely with the windows. It's got a high ceiling here. High ceiling, big fan. Giant, giant island. <laughs> Not sure what's going on down here. Bunch of old food. Some flyers. You can almost smell the fridge already. And I don't think it's just that. Okay, so it's still cold. Turned on. Yeah, it's still got a bit of a foul smell, but it doesn't look bad at all. Unless maybe it's the stove. The stove smells greasy, but no, the, the fridge definitely had a, a smell to it as well. Look at this beautiful setup here. Cabinets. Again, here's your big island, followed by these really nice lights. Very nice. So you're again the height over here. I could enjoy my breakfast there with the sun coming in these windows. This door here. All right, we're gonna come here into the living room. And check it out. Let's see. The TV mantle. We'll get to the other side of the room because it's quite big. 
some writing starting on the wall. Uh oh. Three people were here in July 2024. Yeah, again, it's been abandoned for about a year. There's little Nanook. There's his ball. We've got some toys over here. A few remnants left from the family. A few signs of life. It's got a big backyard to it as well. Just there's some other houses around, so I don't want to hang out by the windows too much. I'm sure you can understand that. We'll take a quick peek out here. Yeah, see, that's a huge property. Goes all the way back to that corner. You can hear that beautiful rain. Oh, yes. Check that out. Just like at the main door, how it had all those cups, or the uh, coat racks and shoe cubbies. This is amazing here. Yeah. Very, very nice. All right. So, kitchen. Pantry. Beautiful little walk-in. Almost smells like a boat. Stairs. Washroom. A little living room. Actually, we'll come out of the living room this way. Since we're going. Not up those stairs that we just passed. Like this. We got the office. I wonder if that golf putter was here, he had his office set up and when he was on his phone calls, he'd be putting on a little green. All right, from here, we are going up these beautiful stairs. And away we go. These are very narrow stairs. I like the straight lines instead of curving it. It is a uh, very farmhousey the little the little staircase. That's where your other stairs lead to. That's pretty neat how that works out like that. Got another light on. And let me come over here. I'll show you a bit more of the whole area. There's a little wave there, did you see? If he's gonna follow me around, it's cool. This place is clean enough. Mm -hmm. No, nope, I don't mind at all. Plus, he's very, very house broken, so we're safe that way. Coat hangers. Yeah, I was just worried before that there could have been an open door. I've got it. Well, we ran out of battery there in the GoPro, but we are back. This house is it's reasonably big, but it took up the whole life of that battery. That's awesome. Look at all the shoe stickers. Very cool. I'm gonna turn the light off. I just want to show you, that's the front driveway, it was a big old tree, it's a very beautiful property, a huge property. Hey Nanook, what's going on little guy? Yeah, these are the other stairs, but that's cool the way that they're, they're on both sides like that. Pink 
fourth bedroom. We got Nanette, we got me. We got a huge closet, the whole size of the wall. Like every window in this house is open. There's a bunch of open doors. Ooh. It's a very nice bathroom. Yeah. Nice vanity and everything. Very nice. With the old school door. With little in the nook. A laundry room. I wasn't sure what that was up there. I was gonna. I thought it was gonna be some sort of a medical unit. Very nice washer and dryer. Folding table. It's a bunch of extra cupboards and storage. Always good to have. It's gonna be the game. Hey you. Yourself down. Sound like there's a bottle or something on the floor. All right, so that was the laundry room here. Let's sort about that. Yes, into the grand, the grand bedroom. I love all the built-in, the built-in units. Those are very cool. Bunch of granola bars and waters and stuff around here. Some stuff going on. It's like the squatters were hanging out in this room mainly. Nice curves on the ceiling. Let me turn this off for a second. Got a nice balcony. It's little, but it's it serves the purpose that you were looking for of just getting out to see a little bit of sun in the morning or Sitting there and having a tea at night. Look at this closet. It's got the sliding door. Lots of drawers. There's your attic. Surprised it's not open. Normally they're always open. And that's crystal. Feels like actual glass too, it's not plastic. Hey you, what's up big guy? Oh, that's nice, another bathroom. When all the doors are open, but one's closed in an abandoned house, you always gotta, always gotta wonder what's what or who's behind the door? Nanook! Nanook here! Good boy, big guy. Yes, very good listening. Is this a shower? <laughs> I almost thought those were shoes down there. Those bug killer. I thought at the last spot to check, somebody was going to be standing. It's a very nice shower. Very new. Now let's see what this guy was getting at. Like I said, water bottle. Seems to like going after them. It's got to be the noise. Hey, no, no, please. See, he jumps on them first. He doesn't just bite them. There's a big closet area, yes. Hey you. Hey big guy, sorry, was that light bright? I didn't think, yeah, we're in this room and the light's on, so I don't need it. It's almost like a little office as well. A nice desk. Again, nothing left, but I like the, the different colors. Different color wood adds a little bit of class. All right.
So let's us make our way. We're going to go down the other set of stairs since it connects us pretty much to the basement. on the floor. Alright. So. It's time that we make our way to the basement. Alright. So. Nanook joined us. He's going to come with us to the basement. ones. They were the nicer looking ones. In their units making noises. Ooh, it smells damp down here. It's a nice, big, beautiful basement, but it smells wet. Yeah, look at the wood. The wood, you can tell, has been wet. It's starting to rot away. Carpet over here is browning. I'd say this basement is flooded. Not high, not four feet like most. But definitely, definitely there's been water down here. This is just one room. I thought that was a hallway, but it's a closet. Hey, big guy. What's that toilet making noises? It's running. Did they not see the movie? Jiggle the handle. That could be some, uh, some mold starting. We got mildew. And what was interesting, what's really interesting, is the sub pumps there. They didn't even try to hide it. But this chunk of the basement through these doors, they didn't completely finish it. But I like the old, the old wood beams up here. We got the block walls. Definitely shows more age to the house. Hey, Nanook, come here. Nanook, here. I don't know what's down here, so you're going to stay right beside me for a minute. So we'll check out that door. I've got a feeling that door's just going to go upstairs. So, or um, outside. Got some storage bins. Yeah, you be careful. With your nose, you shouldn't even be down here. I liked it when you were upstairs. But it's okay. We're not going to be long. I know we've got to quickly go and check to see just in case. No, there's no other rooms. Yeah, it smells damp. There's definitely been a water on the floor. Yeah, cellar door. They've got it all blocked off. They must have built a deck over top. Or possibly an add-on to the house up there. But you know how we do? Lock it up, even though it doesn't go nowhere. I'll take you up these stairs to get out of here. Just so you can see exactly what's going on. It's just an empty block square. Just in case. <laughs> When I'm tall enough I can see. Is there anything down there? Doesn't look like it. I'll take a peek with my own eyes. No, there's just lots of cobwebs. Oh. Alright everybody. 
Let's go up these stairs. No, no, this way. It leads us back here. And I want to thank you all for joining me and the nook on this explore. And let's hit the outro. All right, everybody. What do you think of this house? Beautiful, beautiful house. Again, another beautiful house that's getting demolished for reasons that are just about money and just about making something even bigger. And for some weird reason, new and modern seems to be what the, what the city likes to see. This isn't even in the city. I guess it's what the province likes to see. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this one. Thanks, Nanook, for coming along as well. But thanks all of you especially. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for the comments, for the love, for the views, for all your support. Brandon Abandoned, and I'll catch you on the next Explorer. Ciao.